What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my NC Star Vism uh, Compact Trauma Kit. So, the place that I got mine from, they offer these for $60. It's a pawn shop, so uh, I got it for $50. But I think they retail for $50. And I haven't seen these things for any lower than $48. So, yeah. They come in... Uh, Red, black, digital camo, I think coyote brown, and gray. Um, so you get a decent uh, color options, but I'm going to have this on my active shooter plate carrier. Um, so I chose red, and then if for whatever reason it ever gets taken off um, or put into a bag or something, and I'm not around it, but I have to have someone to grab it. Then, uh, well, red and also the cross is just kind of a universal, hey, this is a first aid kit type deal. So, or trauma kit, but you guys get the idea. Um, so that's why I chose red. These bag or the the pouches are Molly, and they have four compartments. So you got this top zipper here, that's in the flap, and and then you got this pocket here, which has no real closure except for the, the main closure. And, of course, it's a Velcro closure and then a slide keeper closure. And then on the inside, you got the main compartment and then you have another compartment back here. So, you could fit a lot of different things in here, but um, <clears throat> this actually comes as a kit. So, <clears throat> here's what you get. So, you got... Let that focus there. You got one mini compression bandage, one tourniquet, one compressed gauze, one compact moon seal, and one pair of nitrile gloves. And of course, you can't leave without military grade on there. I, I don't know. I always laugh whenever I see that on stuff, but maybe that's just me. And <clears throat> you can see this thing was manufactured. Um, February 19th, 2018, and expires uh, July 31st, I think, yeah, July 31st, uh, 2022. So, you can see all the stuff in here, and you got your tourniquet, nitro gloves, compressed gauze, and... I'm assuming that's the compact moon and that's the compressed bandage um, originally I wasn't gonna open this thing up for stuff that could potentially get used you especially medical stuff you want to keep it sealed but since everything aside from the gloves is in its own individual package uh, I guess I'll open it up for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and do that Alright, so here it is open. So, nitro gloves. Should be nine. Uh, I think they're the. Yeah. Not sure what size they are. Probably like a universal size, like a large. Uh, looks more like a medium to me, but uh, I could just get. I wear XLs. Um, so, I don't know how good these will do, but yeah. And then, here's the tourniquet. So it's a rugged compression strap for severe bleeding. It has instructions on how to on how to apply it. Looks pretty simple. For tour tourniquets, you uh, basically once they're applied, never want to remove them. And when you got your patient, you want to make sure that it's marked and what time you put it on there. Um, but yeah, let the let definitely let the hospital remove it. And then you got your compressed gauze. It's interesting that it has a national stock number. And 
That's your mini compression bandage with a national stock number two. Has instructions there. And it look yeah, it looks like it, it feels like it comes with the safety pins. Or no, that's the okay, yeah, that's a clip there. And your moon seal. So this feels like I think it's an occlusive bandage. I guess I'd have to open it to, to feel it. Um, but of course, once you open it, it's no good. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so anyways, guys, that's the kit that it comes with. Me personally, I don't, I mean, it's a nice kit. Don't get me wrong. Now it just, it does say trauma kit, but it is, you can tell that it's kind of more pointed towards like a gunshot wound. Um, and I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it'd be worth it's definitely not worth sixty dollars. I'd say maybe forty, forty-five tops. Um, but I tell you what, though, because I, I noticed Vism actually watched my video showing off my uh, active shooter plate carrier. Um, they watched the one where I reviewed the plates in here, and so they might watch this one. I don't know, but um, honestly, if I was going to change anything about it. I would probably add some trauma shears or maybe even uh, just a, a razor blade um, but for trauma or something like that you're gonna want to remove the the clothing and then if they were going for a uh, gunshot wound kit um, I see a lot of people throw in uh, uh, NPAs, nasal pharyngeal airways, uh, but you typically wouldn't do that. It wouldn't insert one of those if you weren't going to do oxygen. So, um, anyways, guys, that is my review of this. I guess it's a decent kit, but uh, that's my opinion on it. So, I hope you guys learned something new about these things. Um, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. And as always, have a nice day.